Hello there guys, welcome back to another installment of One on One, it's your host Juan C. Today we'll be going over Raekwon Davis versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Without further ado, let's dive in. Let's start off here with what's going to be Raekwon's worst play. We're going to see hands on the hip, indicating that he's exhausted. We're going to see him let himself be blocked and basically just taken out of the play. By far, like I said, his worst play, but their best is yet to come. Every week we keep seeing more and more plays like this where he takes on a double team and still goes and unable to make the play. Let me introduce you guys to a locked in Raekwon. Look at the brute strength and gains in the old lineman and while being in control identify where the runner is and go and make the tackle. Here we see the creativity of Flores really shine. Watch Raekwon take two steps in like he's pass rushing, only to stop and drop in the coverage. Wilkins got an interception just like this. These must have been the plays that had Coach Flores dancing up and down draft night. Watch him take this double team right at him and destroy this play single handedly. A lot to dissect here, watch the initial double team and hand swipe to handle it. Raycon occupies two and sets up a landing for the loop around to pressure Herbert. Really tried my best not to say it at all, but really, what can you say about this? Six foot seven, 330 pounds, deciding to use his hands, leverage, and be unblockable. Last week a play that really bothered me was similar to this except that Raekwon decided to not take a no for an answer here. Continues to fight and with second and third effort affects the throw and almost hits there for the sack. <laughs> uh, once again, hands, leverage, read, and react. If he can get those four things down and do it on a consistent basis, the sky is really the limit for him. Lastly, here on Gold Line, I've discussed previously the need for new legislature to prevent people of this size being so quick, cat-like. Overall, if we can see a consistent enough effort from Jakeem, we may have hit the jackpot. Until next time, fins up.